Trucker Television is brought to you by JD Factors, charting a path to growth. Day and Ross, owner operator driven. Diesel Spec, engine tuning experts. Welcome to Trucker Television, the best of the trucking world. This week on Trucker Television, the RPM Truck Show that has it all. First annual New Line Fender Contest winner at 12 Gauge Customs. Rig of the Week, a cool 1995 Trans West 379P. But first, Ford's Hewlett Transport. We started out with one truck, and at that time, we were running some Texas, and we were running a bit out of the lanes that all the other guys were doing. And we started doing the Texas, and then when we went to the three, we started running California. We built it from three trucks to the current fleet that we have right now of about 100 tractors. So through hard work, dedication, good people, good drivers, good staff, we are who we are today. I'm in my 40th year of driving. I've been associated with the company, I guess 23 years out of the 30. We're a young company, we worked hard. I mean, we really did. And we didn't have all the city trucks and we did a lot of the, the stuff ourselves. But a lot of the, the guys that were here in the early days, some of them are gone, some have passed away. But the majority of the original of us are still around, and that's because of the, the way they treat us. It's, it's just that simple. It kind of blew me away because uh, I've only been here since November. Uh, I walked in and I, uh, I talked to Ray, and Ray read me right off the bat, knew what kind of person I was, what, what uh, how I operate, my outlook on the, on the industry, uh, my attitude, and uh, I went and met everybody and uh, like I said, half an hour in, I didn't know I was staying. And uh, I've been here since November, the guys, the guys in the yard come up, shake your hand, and help you out wherever they can. It's just like I've been here for years. We've moved from, from vehicles that, that needed a lot of maintenance uh, and also were relatively low as far as miles per gallon uh, to new efficient uh, tractors which uh, uh, these days automatic transmissions as opposed to manual transmissions, very run by computer engines, uh, parameters set down to get the, the best fuel efficiency. Uh, so, so it's that part of it, it's actually been very fascinating to me, the, the technology of trucking, the, how it's changed. I mean, when I, when I started out in the business, there was, there was none of these, uh, none of these fuel saving uh, uh, devices. It was, you know, you had a truck, an engine, and you went. Well, you got all brand new equipment, all 2015s, Peterbilt's, Freightliners, and no slip seating. When you get a truck, that's your truck. We don't pull you out of your truck. That is yours to use, and we don't move you around. We're so computerized right now, and it keeps us organized and focused, and it enables us to actually plan forward, whereas the old paper and pen system from many, many years ago took, you know, it was more of a lengthy process, but with this system here and technology changing, it's making us more efficient. And it's great for the drivers because it helps them too. The economy seems to be picking up in the last year and uh, uh, the need for more drivers is definitely one of the things that we see a lot, but it also uh, means that rates should be going up in the trucking industry, I think, as far as uh, the end users of our services. 
we feel we're the kind of company where the dry would like to work for because we are, like I said, a good family and uh, we feel if they come and join our company they'll be very satisfied. First of all, with the way we run the company, the rates that we pay, the way that we treat the drivers and uh, I think that makes a huge difference. Uh, we really go out of our way to make sure things get from point A to point B and get there on time. I love it here. But the big thing is is that we have been involved in transportation for a long time. We're a safe company. We try to keep up with what's going on, like I say, with the technology changes. And uh, I think we do a darn good job. We're fairly handsome. We're fairly fast. We're Forbes Hewlett. After the break, new line fender install. Laidlaw Carriers, Van LP. They pay me well, they have a good fuel surcharge calculation program, with, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a dry van. Now hiring company drivers and owner operators. Diesel spec. Tuning for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call Diesel Spec? Now hiring company drivers, women and men. Late model, all Peterbilt fleet. Dependable runs, great pay and benefits. Locomote Systems, Transportation Specialist. Ontario Truck Driving School. Training for your future. Your path to success. Thousands of jobs. Laidlaw Carriers Tank Subbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted Four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. New Line Spray Suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of New Line fenders and be on national TV. New Line at truckertelevision.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Challenger Motor Freight. We understand the movement of goods from anywhere to anywhere in the world. We connect the dots and add clarity to life. That's what supply chain does. Challenger Motor Freight. Join our team and go the distance. Speedy Transport. Now hiring owner operators. Join today and work for the very best. Now hiring owner operators. Speedy Transport. Trucker Television is brought to you by Forbes Hewlett Transport. Don't follow, join. Quick Truck Lube. Two convenient locations, fast and professional service. 12 Gauge Customs. Check our website for tons of chrome. Drive Logistics. Owner Operators Wanted. Drive home a winner. California Custom Polishes. Quit wasting time with products that don't work. Closed Captioning by Bryson Insurance. Your partner in success for family and business. This week, we're at New Line with our contest winner, Scotty. We're going to fit his sweet Kenworth with a set of new fenders. Scott from Cambridge, Ontario. Work for uh, PDI Bulk out of uh, Guelph, Ontario. And I drive a 2013 T660. So tell us about your truck. Pack our engine, 18-speed manual transmission, uh, 355 rear ends. Not all that fancy, but it gets the job done. So where do you drive to? I run uh, Toronto, Montreal, uh, a little bit of the border states, uh, Michigan, Indiana, Illinois, Massachusetts. 
How long have you been driving for? 22 years. 22 years, a long yeah. time? A long time, yeah. I bet you've seen a lot of things over 22 years. I've seen years. coast to coast and north to south, yeah. What's the craziest thing you've ever seen on the road? People. People? Yep. <laughs> I love trucks and I love driving. What's your favorite kind of truck? Kenworth. Kenworth? Yeah. Is that just a drive one now? Or nope. That... I've always been a Kenworth fan. The toughest truck on the road and uh, reliable, well built, and just, a, just an all around great truck. Well, New Line's been in existence for 30 years. We're the leading company for fender manufacturing distribution in Canada and have been doing that for over 30 years. And we're happy Scott was a winner and congratulations. Thank you, it's a pleasure. So which vendors did you choose? Uh, the full round stainless. Why? Because they're cool. They're, uh, they're great fenders, they're cool looking fenders. They're uh, candy cane, super single axle fenders and uh, we're gonna be going out to the shop and Scott's gonna help manufacture them out there today and uh, I think he's gonna have a great experience. Cool. Well, let's head out to the shop. Hi, my name's uh, Kevin DeBoer. I'm the uh, manufacturing manager here at New Line Products. So what are we doing here? We're going to be uh, showing Scott how we're making the fenders that he has chosen. We're going to start off with the notching operation. The next step is we're going to bring it over to our flanging machine. It's going to put the side flange on before we enter it into the, uh, the rolling machine. So typically after the step that Scott just performed, we usually check it with a tape measure just to make sure that the dimensions are correct. And it has to be within a sixteenth of an inch, otherwise we'll, we'll have issues within the roll forming. So far so good, pretty easy work. Adrenaline pumping. Yeah, they're, uh, they're slave drivers, but it's pretty easy. I know you've been here an hour on the job and you already want to uh, want to raise. I need a break, I need a 20 minute break. <laughs> need to have a nap, my logbook's catching up. Yeah. <laughs> Scott, you ready to make your first set of yeah, fenders? I'm ready. You right. ready? Let's do it, yep. So what's gonna happen here? Right now, um, it, obviously it's a two-man operation. Uh, my guy, Jesse, there, he's gonna be sticking the fender in through the, the roll forming machine. It's gonna hit a, a trigger switch, a limit switch, which uh, activates the top barrel to this machine. And that creates the, the roll spec. So basically, whenever it hits that micro switch, that predetermines the size of the fender. So what's going on next? So after each piece, or every few pieces, what we like to do is do quality check. So what they're gonna do is they, uh, they're gonna take a tape measure and just make sure that the tip to tip dimension is uh, within a sixteenth of the tolerance. Did you learn anything? I did learn th something, yes. Learn how to roll fenders. There you go. <laughs> Congratulations <laughs> again. Thank you. After the break, rig of the week and 12 gauge custom. Diesel spec. Tuning for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call diesel spec? A leading authority in dry van transportation. The only call you need to make for all your shipping requirements. Spady Transport, carrying your business load. Laidlaw Carriers, Van LP. They pay me well, they have a good fuel surcharge calculation program, with, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a dry van. Now hiring company drivers, women and men. Late model, all Peterbilt fleet. Dependable runs, 
great pay and benefits. Locomote Systems, Transportation Specialists. Ontario Truck Driving School, training for your future, your path to success, thousands of jobs. Laidlaw Carriers Tank Subbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. New Line Spray Suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of New Line fenders and be on national TV. New Line at truckertelevision.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Challenger Motor Freight. Once you get into trucking, it gets in your blood. There's something about it, you're, you're connected to it. It's that movement of freight, that interaction of man and machine. Join our team and go the distance. Time to trick out your big rig? Check out ZZ Chrome's huge inventory of high-end chrome and stainless accessories. Bumpers, visors, pipes, LED lighting, and more. Plus custom fabrication and installation. Find us online at zzchrome.com. We started out in 2003, our main objective was to try to build cool parts for truckers. And uh, we started into some, uh, into some light fabrication and lots of installs. And over the years, the business evolved into lots of fabrication and just local installs. Today we're putting a set of these um, full hoop stainless steel new line fenders on. They're good, I like working with them. They sell, they send everything you need to do them and they're pretty simple to install, pretty straightforward. I'm Matt Cunningham and I work here at uh, 12 Gauge Customs. Oh, these guys are the best in the business. I wouldn't have called anybody else except for these guys. These are the kings of cool. There's nothing to be nervous about 12 Gauge. They're gonna do a perfect job, it's gonna look great and everybody's gonna give me a thumbs up and it's gonna be cool. This is a truck with super singles on it, so they're actually a super single fender. They're a bit uh, narrower than normal, like a set of dual fenders would be, you know, that much wider. So they're, um, they're specific to the super single tire, and uh, they're getting stainless steel paddle mounts as well. We've already put all of the posts on in a, a proper location, and now what we're doing is just, we've just marked them all out, and now we're just gonna drill our holes and mount the paddles to the fenders and then we can uh, reinstall them. This truck here had a set of half fenders on it, so first off we took the half fenders off and then um, laid all the fenders on. We dropped the suspension down and then lay half inch rubber on top just so the tires don't get into the fender when you've got the air dumped when you're hooking and unhooking from your trailer. So we set all the fenders on and then take our paddles and lay them against the fender and then just kind of roughly see where we need to be on the frame to put our posts and then basically pull everything all back off, drill all our holes, mount the posts and then set everything back on and then mark the actual fender to the, to the paddle and then we'll take it back off, drill all the holes and mount the paddle to the fender and then it's basically done. Great job by 12 Gauge. I, I owe a lot of thanks to New Line Fenders, Trucker Television, and of course 12 Gauge for the install. They did a fabulous job. Fenders look great. Send Trucker Television a picture of your truck. You can win a set of fenders just like this. It's a 95 Beetle built, design and fabrication for, for uh, Elizabeth truck at uh, Staten Island. The owner of the truck is uh, Real Gagnon from Montreal. It's a C15 Caterpillar, over 500 horsepower and almost uh, 2,000 pounds of torque. 
18 speed transmission. All chrome, all customized. It's a show truck now, it's uh, retired. The interior was uh, entirely customized. It's a 379 model, but with its uh, dash of uh, 359. They have for audio, they have a uh, Xbox, uh, 42 inches uh, screen on the sleeper, over 5,000 watts of uh, audio. Then we can drop the front suspension and raise the front bumper. Well, 500 square feet of stainless on it, only on the truck. Chrome fifth wheel, no grease with Teflon. It's a 48 feet reefer trailer to hold produce from California to Canada. After the break, the RPM Truck Show that has it all. Challenger Motor Freight. We understand the movement of goods from anywhere to anywhere in the world. We connect the dots and add clarity to life. And that's what supply chain does. Challenger Motor Freight. Join our team and go the distance. Diesel Spec. Tuning for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call diesel spec? Spady Transport, now hiring owner operators. Join today and work for the very best. Now hiring owner-operators, Spady Transport. Looking for a new opportunity? Fleetway Transport is now hiring company drivers and owner-operators for flatbed and heavy haul. Join the Fleetway family. Apply today at fleetwaytransport.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of New Line fenders and be on national TV. New Line at truckertelevision.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Laidlaw Carriers, Van LP. They pay me well, they have a good fuel surcharge calculation program, with, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a dry van. Now hiring company drivers and owner operators. Trucker Television. By truckers for truckers. Celebrating life on the road. Trucker television advertising. Speaking to truckers like no other. Oh yeah, always remember, watch for the brake checks. Laidlaw Carriers Tank is seeking liquid tank owner operators. Competitive fuel surcharge program. Base plates, border crossings and tolls paid. Our people and equipment set us apart. Now hiring company drivers, women and men. Late model, all Peterbilt fleet. Dependable runs, great pay and benefits. Locomote Systems, transportation specialists. Laidlaw Carriers Tank, Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted. Four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. Trucker Television is brought to you by Forbes Hewlett Transport. Don't follow, join. Quick Truck Lube. Two convenient locations, fast and professional service. 12 Gauge Customs. Check our website for tons of chrome. Drive Logistics. Owner Operators Wanted. Drive home a winner. California Custom Polishes. Quit wasting time with products that don't work.
I think it's awesome. I've heard of the jamboree, the music thing that goes on, and I heard it was a big place, but uh, I was shocked. This place is huge. It's well organized. Lots of space to have the trucks piled in side by side so you can actually see them when they're parked beside each other, and uh, yeah, it seems like a real good deal. The facilities are fantastic. Like, you can't get a better place than this. Just going with the crowd here. They welcome me in here, so I, uh, I'm just uh, traveling with them and hanging around with them. I haul my camper. I built my own camper, too. But this is the fur furthest truck show I've been to. It's uh, great to get everybody out and have a good time, and I think it's only going to grow and get better from here. A lot of people here today, and uh, I think a lot of people came just to check it out and see how it was going to be. But next year, you're going to see a lot more people. We've talked to a lot of truck drivers today that say they wish they should have brought their trucks. It's been a great weekend. Saturday's just booming. I can't believe the guys here. It's insane. There's so many cars, bikes, tr trucks, boats. It's all here. Tractors. So. Tractors. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> That's right. Like you've seen, we got snakes here and all, so it's a wicked weekend for us. We're happy. These grounds are packed. It's Saturday afternoon. I'm sure there'll be more trucks show up. As the word spreads, kudos to them for getting it up and getting it going, and hopefully we'll bring a whole lot more next year when we come back. Two by two, three by four, I wish I had a little more. I try to even up the score and take away the pain. I worked in a factory in, in Kitchener when I first started working, standing there looking out the window for four and a half years. Weather like this in the summertime, and I said, man, that's not for me. So I got out, and I uh, started getting into the truck and delivering lumber, and, and uh, I've, I've been, uh, was trucking ever since. Hope everybody enjoys the shows and comes out, keeps things going. I think it's a good show. I really do already. It's great. Having a blast. Yeah, yeah, if you like trucks, this is the place to be for sure. We've got the new two T880s. They're uh, brand new this year, and the 680, we've got one out back there too. We're showing those off. We're open for business. Come on in and see us. We're at 810 Technology Drive, Kenworth, Ontario. We've got four stores. We've got Thunder Bay, Ottawa, Kingston, Peterborough. We did sponsor part of the truck show, along with uh, Tremcar and Superior tank manufacturers, and I, I'm really, uh, I'm impressed. I, I didn't think it would be this big for the inaugural year. We've had a lot of, uh, lot of interest in the trucks and the fleet, and uh, really, I'm surprised. There's a lot more people around than I thought there would be. I've been going to shows for 50 years and we live out here in a country about 100 miles from Toronto and you might want to go to the truck show in Toronto so you drive there you pay 20 bucks to park 20 to get in a week later might be the boat show so you go down to the boat show the same thing then the car show then the hot rod show or bike show whatever it might be so I thought I'd combine all them shows because we got the property here and uh it worked out really well. It's awesome. I'm really happy with this event. I think it's well put on. I love the swap meet. I love all the attractions. One of the best car shows I've ever seen. And Euros. We love antique cars and flea markets, so it was great. Looking forward to hearing the, all the bands and uh, met a lot of nice people. We want to make sure we thank our PM for inviting us here and letting us set up our little booth. And we're here spreading awareness about breast cancer and early detection and also uh, recruiting for our own event, Trucking for a Cure. It's pretty impressive this year and I think next year you better make sure you get your tickets really quick and get in line. We had a, a lot of wonderful vendors that really came out and supported this show. It seems the community was really screaming for this type of event and people just had nothing but excitement. And of course, once we brought on Danny Coker from Counting Cars, then that really started to bring the attention out to us. But a big shout out to Action Car and Truck Accessories. Uh, we've got Laidlaw Trucking here, Drain Brothers, Sandwood Trucking. These are all folks that made all these things possible. Time, no 
threads of tables closed and no more bets. Just roll the dice, see what you get. Take it down the road. Send us a picture of your truck and you could win a set of new line fenders. Working trucks, show trucks. New trucks, old trucks. Send us a picture of your truck. You will be entered into the second annual Trucker Television New Line Fender Contest. Next week on Trucker Television. More trucks at RPM Havelock. The show that has it all. Rig of the Week. M&M 1968 GMC Cracker Box. Truck Pulls at Truck and Roll Encore. Sulfuric Acid Hazmat with Late Law Tank LP. Trucker Television is brought to you by Wasp Cam, the sports action camera Trucker Television uses. Be on Trucker Television, supporting trucking for a cure. Robert Transport, we care, we take charge. Coming on.